game, the Battle of the Ryans. Ryan Turk, Ryan Literal. Ryan Turk in that Rain X Toyota GR Corolla. Again, switching motors this year from the four banger. That was a piloted campaign for multiple years, switching over to that uh, the same motor that's in the Supra, six cylinder. And then the uh, RB Army flag being uh, waved high and wide by Ryan Literal in the Sunoco Sim Magic S15. All right, so again, that collab vehicle. Let's see what Ryan Turk has, that hot hatchback. I, I, I love this stance. It just looks like a bullfrog. Oh, and no. literal shoves it down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Planet of the Brakes. Unfortunately, it looks like he shuts it down. And Turk does have to complete this lap because he is leading. And Ryan literal crawling his way through that first outside zone. Turk, a bit of a cakewalk. For the New Hampshire born, live free or die. Shout out to Shannon and Roman. I know they're watching at home. Got those new vents. There's a lot of speed holes in there, so. Looks like it was a start. clean start. Yeah, so not sure what happened there with uh, with Mr. Literal, but Ryan Turk in front, yeah, just starts to, to take away at that point. But Ryan, Ryan does a great job here through the first outside zone. Takes a little bit to really get the smoke coming out of the car which can be an indicator of, of throttle, but either way, he does a really good job through the first, second, and third outside zone, filling all of them. Inside clip, everything nice and tight. You can see how he uses the momentum of the car to get around, how smooth and fluid this run looks. Ryan Turk, back on form. Textbook. Yeah, very, very good. And here's the thing, too. You Even if your competitor has an issue like this, you still need to put down a heater yep. because what happens if, you know, Turk has an issue at the line and exactly. the girl leaves... Uh, Leaves him behind. The, the plot, uh, you know, we saw in that last episode of Senate, the plot thickens. It's I would say that a lot. but And, and, it, and it can happen. Yeah. You know, I oh, we've seen don't, it. Don't know what happened to Literal. He's back on the line. So uh, he's ready to go. Oh, no. Hey, or is he? Oh, no. So there. So restart. Clean, clean start. start. That is a clean start. Literal. Gremlins. Don't feed him after midnight. Don't get him wet. Unfortunately, they multiply. We don't die, we multiply. And unfortunately for Ryan Literal, that's going to be a wrap for his Sunoco Sim Magic S15. Great looking car, but got to throw it sideways, brother. And uh, Ryan Turk will be getting the victory here. Man, Ryan Turk and Matt Field will be going against each other. That's going to be a be banger in 16. Yeah, yeah, 16 is shaping up to be pretty crazy. All right, we'll make it official. You know what's going to happen here. Slide him left. Well, Ryan won, but it's Ryan Turk that gets the victory here. The Rain-X Toyota GR Corolla. Would have Shanahan would have led Castro off at that outside zone, too. Right. So you, have, you kind of have to take that into consideration. Yeah, that's a good well. point if there would be no if there was. Ryan Turk gets on. Matt Field, Ryan Turk. What's going to happen here? Here we are, three battles in. Look at this. Matt Field initiates. What an, what an absolutely iconic battle here. Matt Field in that Borla exhaust Corvette now coming down off. The big bank into the power alley. Both of them filling the outside zone too. Turk backing off a little bit, maybe giving himself some room. Good line of sight here on that inside clip. Just barely knocking it over. That Toyota GR Corolla in that last outside zone. Big angle. Ryan Turk threw a lot at it. Looked like he almost got bound up. But uh, Matt Field made that look really easy out front. Yeah, super classic battle here. Love seeing when both these drivers go against each other. Matt Field on power into that initiation. Now Turk pulling a little bit out, but look at this mirroring job as he comes through. So a little bit of hesitation, a little wiggle back and forth, but both of them making that correction almost at the same time. Now Turk, the surging, just the timing is not what's playing in his favor. Out front though, Matt Field putting on a, a, an excellent show of what a lead run needs to be. And Turk trying to find where in the pocket he wants to sit, that surging back and forth. That, that's something the judges are, are going to be able to see quite easily. So this is what I'm talking about here. This part looks great. Now look at Turk surging a little bit more. Now they come through this part, and then Turk surges in once again. And while he has to back off, that is where it come, runs into a bit of an issue. So Matt Field out front, really, really no issues, doing a good job through the zones. Um, I mean, Turk has some really uh, great moments in his chase, yeah. but the, the, the surging is, is what's very uh, noticeable. Yep. All right, so switch, switching things up, some uh, some good battles, a good battle right there. Let's see with Turk. He's got that clean air, and this is this is this is one of those battles where, and, and this is what we're seeing. They're beating themselves. You know, James yeah. Dean beat himself. 
right? Jeff had an amazing, I'm not taking anything away from Jeff Jones, but he took himself out. And uh, Shannon took himself out, two tires off. Here we go, so Ryan Turk out front, that Rain X Toyota GR Corolla. Good, solid, rock solid on that big outside zone one. How's he gonna manage outside zone two on the power alley? Quick little yank of that handbrake into outside zone three. Big, massive angle. Look at Matt Field. You talk about that surging, Matt Field. He really has great proximity. Tries to get into that pocket. Very shallow on the outside zone four, but the crowd erupts here in Seattle. Yeah, super, super interesting. I mean, th these two battles are, are very, uh, very matching, but in different ways. I mean, the surging happens from both chase drivers, but both leads looked really good. So, start to break this down now. Ryan Turk out front in that Corolla. Gets out to the wall, not super deep. Now, neither of these cars have a lot of overhang over the back, so it's tough for them to get really get on the wall. But same thing, you see the surging there from Matt Field. Really like how smooth Turk is out in the lead. Second, third, outside zone, both look good. Matt Field doing a good job, able to get things wrangled in. Bit of a correction from both drivers to that inside clip to set them up for outside zone four. Turk gets one wheel into it, could have been a little bit deeper. Uh, but, yeah, it's uh, definitely tough to say. I would, I would say that Ryan Turk's surging was maybe a little bit more noticeable, but there's a couple of spots where Matt Field in the chase just misses the second and third outside zone while chasing. So, great to see the proximity, but it's a massive sacrifice to line by doing it. Yep. So, that's that's the hard part. It's, it's, you know, you have to choose what you want to go for, and the line is very, very easy to spot when somebody's cutting it to, to get the proximity. But Tough one, man. Real and, the, and, tough. The, and these guys make it look so easy. Oh, you know, I know. And, and just, just how tight they actually are. So let's take a look here. Side by side, BC Racing, go for gold. So a bit more of a gap there from Ryan Turk and the chase. Transition into that first outside zone. I'd say Matt Field's a little bit tighter on the wall in his lead, but Turk had a bit better of a chase for the first inside zone. Now we separate out. And I'm looking to see, I mean, Ryan Turk in the chase didn't have quite the same proximity, but the line does look much better. He is mirroring the same line of Matt Field, where Matt Field in the chase, pulling a lot out of it to keep the proximity. So that's the big difference that I see is, is Turk did a really good job of, of mirroring the line, whereas Matt Field had a ton of proximity. So it, it's, yeah. it's, yeah. Great battle. Great, great battle. Just, uh, again, two absolute legends these guys will go down you know in in formal just history oh yeah you know here we go matt field ryan turk slide him left for field right for ryan turk ryan turk gets two votes and three unanimously ryan turk gets the win turk gets the win and ryan turk doesn't 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 care about odie going for that championship he's no. like dude i i i want to win i need i need to get on the box dude yeah, but and we uh, know Turk is capable of winning. Oh, absolutely! It's not like that is not a that is not a surprise. No. If, if everything lines up and he's in the right headspace, I mean, Turk is an absolute force to be reckoned with. Yeah, and it's just been little things with his vehicle, or just a, just a little mental lapse, just that that's really kind of hurt Ryan Turk this year. Here we go, Odie Box. He's but look at Ryan Turk with that new engine de being debuted this year again. He's running that six-cylinder, same one that's in Frederick Osbo's car. Contact is made, going to the second outside zone. It's like Turk almost pushing Odie Bakshis around in this inside clip. Look at the aggressiveness of both these guys. Just claws her out. There is blood in the water. There's, there's nothing better than like a no lift contact. Sick. You know? Yeah, just bang. Just Ryan Turk in it. right into the side of Odie Bach. He's almost like superseding his line. And I was like, yeah, all right. You're right. fine. Pedal down. But Odie Bach, she's to that first outside zone. I mean, so great. So textbook. And Turk knows he's got to speed things up. Look at that. He actually pushes Odie a little bit deeper, who's able to scrub some angle out and still fill the second and third outside zone. So, so much going on there. Ryan Turk, through the rest of the run, knows he's got to be perfect because he did make that mistake and cuts a little bit of the line through outside zone four. I got, I got a feeling these drivers are going to be taking our uh, our kind of gifted five minutes. Yeah, to, complimentary to to timeout. You know, con contact without an incomplete. Both of them get to assess the car to make sure they're good because there was contact. Yeah, there there definitely was, and I mean, what a what a body check though. You know, just just threw the car into now, the side. You of know, the they they're given a few minutes to inspect the car, make any small adjustments that they need to. We now know and hope that both cars are tip top, so we get an awesome battle. All right, let's yeah. see what we got here. Let's alternate the positions. Ryan Turk will be out front. Odie Bakshi's in the chase position. 
Here is Turk in that hot hatchback. We're doting on Odie Box. He's taken off his front bumper. And here goes Turk. Let's see what he's got. The Rain-X Toyota GR Corolla into that big bank. Man, that thing is flying right now. Pulling away from Odie. Odie oh. is just squirming in that chase position. Currently sitting second in points. And Ryan Turk, again, he is going for it. Odie Bakshi struggles and now almost gets up to him on that last outside zone. Smoke filling Seattle. And Ryan Turk, an absolute OG. It's like a day day 1.5. Yeah. Not day one. He's just a little after, but that was a dude. The car is ripping so fast. I mean, they got that car dialed in now. Odie almost deeper. It looks like he does tap the wall once, maybe twice, and really struggling. But Ryan Turk super deep to the first outside zone. Second outside zone, everything looks great. Third looks great. Ryan Turk putting on a clinic out front. And Odie Bakshi's those few wall taps there through the first outside zone really is just a mess with him. He had to fight to get the car back in line and wow, Justin Smash here with the FPV. But look at Ryan Turk out front. Banners rippling in the wind as Turk just absolutely decimating those Nitto tires. Love to see this lead and Odie, I mean, very uncharacteristic to go that aggressive and have that kind of issue. But uh, I mean, this is a massive advantage here for Ryan Turk. Yeah, this is, this is a big move by Ryan Turk. Just how fast, how quick he was, and and Odie just couldn't handle it, man. It was it was he was shaken up. Now we do have to remember that Turk did get very aggressive in the chase when the roles were reversed a little bit. So this is what you would hope Ryan Turk would do. You would. I got a Dragon Ball Z tattoo. You do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Odie Bakshi's Ryan Turk. Slide him left. Slide him right. Slide him. Ryan Turk gets one vote one more time. Oh. Yo, there we go. All right, stop your feet. Let's do it again. Here we go. Odie Box, he's Ryan Turk. Who is going against Jeff Jones? Who is joining Manoa, Adam LZ? And again, Jeff Jones, Odie Bakshi's, Ryan Turk, does it one more time battle, quickly. Odie Bakshi swings that thing around, swing that thing into that first outside zone. Odie Bakshi's that field suspension SMB. Look at how Ryan Turk is tracking, getting to the side of Odie Bakshi's. Ryan Turk gets into the side of Odie, he pushes him out of the way. And this is what we saw in that first battle. Ah, <sighs> too aggressive Turk. Turk just drops the hammer on the, gotta take a look at this again. Was was Odie Bakshi slowing? You know, that's another thing we need to look at if it's if it's happened not once but twice. We need to see what's cracking here. There was definitely something going on as they finish up outside zone one. Odie's car gets a little disrupted, gets a little weird, and I don't know if that's just him coming off the left foot brake or what happened there. And you can see that front wheel, just tons of left foot brakes right there. Just a bit of a hop from Odie Bakshi. It's weird, right? Yeah. Just just uncharacteristic of what we normally saw so I'd want to see is he deselling excessively is it we lose tire smoke right there there's like a correction Pop. it almost ah it, it almost it, looks it like, looked the, like car. It hit the wall and, the, and it got disrupted yeah I I almost want to see if we can check the decel lights to, to know what's going All on right. Odie's pulling up to the line you know Turk Turk you know with that contact getting Odie you know getting that contact there and uh, you know Turk was at fault. Uh, that was was that unanimous going to the judges there, or was it was two? It, so it was yeah, it was split. So again, they're still kind of it, it, Turk is still at fault. Yeah. So, but it was it was not unanimous. Just to clarify that. So Turk is at a bit of a deficit here, given the scenario. So he really needs to step up, and Turk is hoping that one makes a mistake, but you know he's got to take a. I, you know, take a tempered approach here. I think that's the wise move for Odie Box. He's currently second in points. Look at that. He comes out just so good. Look, he compromised a little bit of angle to get that proximity, get there. Oh, and he takes a drive to the inside. Odie Box, he's three wheels off. That's an incomplete from Odie Box. He's an easy fast pass into the final four. That's a major mistake from Odie Box. And that was on the inside. He took that tighter line. He got lost in the smoke outside zone two. This potentially, again, unofficially, this could potentially force a one more time. But lead versus lead, chase versus chase. We didn't see a we didn't see a lead 
because Turk had that contact. Let's look at it again. Yeah, uh, so we're definitely trying to look here for that three wheels off. Odie, something is going on. Not able to catch up with Ryan Turk as a complete rocket ship in that Rain-X Corolla. You go one, two, and then, oh, right here. Yeah, three wheels off, pretty clear. Wow, Odie Bakshi, so. Yeah, two incompletes in the chase. I mean, man, and we can't even go lead versus lead no, at this because, point. No, because, you know, Odie's, Odie's lead got uh, got abbreviated because of the contact caused by Ryan Turk. And, yeah, yeah. so, I, I mean, I'm, I'm just deducing in my mind that this would go to one more time. Mrs. Fridge over here, she's she's cheering on on a, on old Turkey Boy out here. Yeah, what this? Yeah, crazy. that'll be Turkin. You're feeling it. So slide him left for Odie, right for Turk, and uh, one more time, and there it is, one more time. And look at that, Turk got a gift. Oh yeah. They, I mean, it was it was sign the line. So uh, yeah. Here we go, Odie Bach, he's Ryan Turk. Who's gonna come out on top? Who's going against Jones? Who's going to the final four? That feels such as a team initiating into the bank. And look at that again. That front right just posted up. The one, the no wheel peel into that. There, look at Turk saying, okay, fine, I'll back off. Go to that second outside zone through the power alley into outside zone three. Oh, there we go. Now applying the pressure past that inside clip in that final outside zone. You see Turk get to the side of him. Just no contact, clean, sterile, good, gave him enough room. He's playing it smart. Yep, and, and Odie looked like initiated, no problem, no big deal, NBD for Odie. Yeah, so whatever, if there was an issue, they got it sorted, but uh, yeah, Odie does a good job in the first outside zone, could have been a little bit deeper, as you can see there, just struggling to get it up to the wall, does for a second, and then right here, Turk just giving him room. Trying to mirror that line as best as possible is a good job through there. Uses some extra momentum to fill in the gap in between the two drivers. And yeah, Turk just playing it much smarter. Much, much smarter. Not as aggressive, not as crazy. Able to keep things under control. But yeah, Odie not nearly as deep for that first outside zone. And uh, but at least at least the car is not looking as awkward through that section. So a little bit more tidy, but he's calmed down, he's taking uh, taking a breath. Now it's time to see what Odie's going to do in the chase. Yep, let's let's see how tight and right the car is. Or is he still having some issues? We'll see. But now Ryan Turk out front, and we saw how much horsepower he has in, the, in that pocket, man. He, he was really jumping to the side of Odie on that bank. And uh, on that previous battle, Odie's kind of struggling to hang with Ryan Turk. And this, this hot hatchback, this thing is a weapon. Into that first outside zone, look at initiate. There goes Turk. A little bit of wavering there. Look at the banners just flapping as these, again, these hot rods just blast past. Going to this power. Oh, buddy. Going to that second outside zone, the power alley. Here goes Odie Bakshi's. Gets to the side of Ryan Turk. Into that inside clip. Odie Bakshi's bathing in the smoke. Comes out of it. Ryan Turk puts it right in the outside zone. Odie Bakshi's. I definitely want to see some overhead. See that shot, especially on that last outside zone four. Pretty good, but there, there might be some slip-ups there. Let's take a look. Yeah, so Ryan Turk out in the lead, already looking a little bit deeper than Odie was, able to get the car in there. Now, worming a little bit back and forth to try and massage it into the wall. While Odie looks very stable, but Turk comes off the bank a bit early, has to shore up to get into the second outside zone, but it does allow him to get all of the third. Now, Odie diving in here through that inside clip. Turk gets back on the power, and so does Odie. So a little... Awkward from Turk out front, but you know, definitely awkward from Odie in the chase. Part of that, you know, can be from some of the you know, Turk coming out a little bit early off the zone. But yeah, both drivers just very hesitant now. I mean, when you see mistakes like that previous, it's not a shock that you're going to see some hesitancy. But yeah, Turk right there, that was a fairly big correction in order to get the car pushed out to the second outside zone. And then Turk really holds on to it through, uh, through the inside clip, and it forces Odie to have to kind of push out wide. So neither driver really. Ne they didn't twist the knife. There wasn't. No. There wasn't a, just a rock solid boom. Like, but just. I mean, they've been in contact how many times now, yep. right? And it's not like they've had a bunch of time to completely nut and bolt the whole car. There could be so many things going on with these vehicles at this point in time. So let's take a look at our lead. See if we see anything massive. I mean, definitely turn deeper through the first inside zone. Both chases look pretty close here. Now, second outside zone, I would say Odie does a better job through there. Third, Turk does a better job there. Inside clip, in the lead, pretty similar. 
but Odie on a tighter line in the chase through that inside clip, and then Turk has a bit better of a chase um, through the last section. So, man, really, really tough to say. So, some hesitancy there after coming into contact, what, three, four, I don't know how yeah. many times now. They almost swapped liveries at this point. <laughs> right. Odie's car is yellow now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So slide him left for Odie, right for Ryan Turk. Looks like Ryan Turk gets one vote. Two votes. Ryan Turk gets the win. Turk advances to the final. Turk from New Hampshire. Shannon and his son Roman cheering him on from New Hampshire. Here we go. Ryan Turk, Jeff Jones. Let's get ready to send it. Soba on a rope, keeping it clean. Ready to send him down the chute. On three, let's yell, send it as loud as possible. One, two, three, send it! Here we go, Ryan Sir, Jeff Jones. Who's going against Manoa? Coming down out of the gate, that right next to the GR Curl. Where is Jeff Jones? Jeff Jones back there quite a bit. Jeff Jones, oh, big, oh no! Jeff goes hard to the wall, he throws his car. Ryan Sir continues on. Jeff not running 100%. It is a must win in order to get on the box. For either one of these drivers, Ryan Turk barely knocks over. That inside clip continues on pace. And Jeff just left in the dust, staring at the sun, wavering. That could have been a lot worse for, yeah. for Mr. Jones. And look, at it is not over yet. There, no. it is, there is still a battle to go, and we've seen wilder things have already happened tonight. So it's really hard to say. When I'm looking, that looks like a misshift. Yeah, it looks like he just wasn't able to get the car into gear, and by then, I mean, Ryan Turk already out there, but the fact that Jeff Jones keeps in it, doesn't get into the wall, that alone is a victory, because coming in with that kind of angle, very, very easy to do that, but Ryan Turk out front, I mean, this is a solid lead run. I mean, if we were qualifying right now, yep. we're, we're well into the high 90s there from Ryan Turk, filling all that outside zone one. Oh, that could have been so bad. So close from Jeff Jones. We would have been picking up that car with a dustpan. Yeah, Ryan Turk, I mean, really, really putting it down. You know, might have some idea that Jeff Jones isn't even in the same neighborhood. But uh, either way, Turk laying it down. You can see just from that drone view what the sun is like, what, it, yeah. what, what these drivers are facing. Jeff Jones will lead Ryan Turk, giving chase. Let's send it. Who's going on to go against Manoa in the final? Jeff Jones swings in front of the nose of that Rain-X Toyota GR Corolla. The Evo Auto Works, Prisma, Nissan Z. Ryan Turk, does, he has great proximity, but it likes to mimic that angle now coming down into that power alley. Good approach, Ryan Turk way shallow on outside zone three. Look, the sun comes into play once they peek out around the bleachers in that last outside zone. Yeah, must have been a mischief by Jeff Jones. Yeah. Definitely more dialed, unfortunate for him. So. Turk, not exactly the tightest on that outside zone three, but you got to think about that mistake by Jones right out of the gate in that chase position. Well, and, and knowing that there might be some sort of issue, especially on initiation, you got to be careful because the last thing you want to do before going in the finals is spinning your car behind a driver that might have some sort of mechanical. But Ryan Turk playing around a little bit here. I mean, you can also use this time to try out a few different things, but Jeff Jones, it's sad because this, this is a pretty solid lead run. Yeah. What, would it be enough to, you know, knock out Ryan Turk? Hard to say, but, man, it was such a, a great run from Jeff Jones, and I'm hoping he carries this momentum, this ability, and this confidence into Utah. Yeah, because absolutely. Because it would be great. It's infectious. Here we go. Ryan Turk gets the win. Ryan Turk advances on. He's going against 14-year-old Hiro Manoa. Adam LZ locked in for third. And there it a is. A little slower, something, but you know, you know this. So yeah. now you have to adjust your line, how you drive. So Hero Manoa out front, and oh, I'm not seeing him pull up. I'm seeing he is not pulling up, dude. Now and the light, come on now, the, the lights are on still. Well, the diesel lights are showing all green right now, which is not correct. Really? No. And it looks like Hero might be out, and Hero Manoa. Hero Manoa is out. Hero Manoa is unfortunately out. The throat chop was given. We heard it from the officials. So Hero Manoa is out. Ryan Turk will have a celebratory run. Hero Manoa, unfortunate turn of events, but that, you got to get it across the finish line. Hey, want to run? Make some noise, Seattle! Hero Manoa, Ryan Turk in the finals, and here is Ryan Turk on a celebratory win run here at round six.
Turk in the 400 Pro Championship. Ryan Turk, lay out, listen to this hot rod. The six cylinder hot hatchback, Rain X, Toyota, GR Corolla, Rockstar, Energy Drink, gets the win on Nitto Tires. Ryan Turk with his first podium of the season. As he finishes it, throws up the fingers, and that will be number one. Ryan Turk gets the win here in Seattle. Here at Manoa, back-to-back -back podium, St. Louis, and now here in Seattle.